at the wastewater treatment plant. The new one, well, new, it's been 15 years or something, down here in Bisbee, right near the border. We can see the border from here, actually. We had some uh, inmates, some prisoners working back here yesterday. Yeah. And they were, I guess, weed whacking, apparently, because they kind of got to that area and then went, whoops, and ran, because two guys got stung up, two of the inmates. We're here on site, and amazingly enough, it doesn't even look like a box, but you can see it looks like a lump of shit there on the ground. That is that is an actual cardboard box that is half dilapidated. And one of the guys walked up and looked in the hole and could see comb. <laughs> Don't do that. Look at it. You're too far to run to anywhere here. Right. And he wants us to do a survey also and look around okay. fence lines, uh, junk in the garage, whatever. Yeah. Make sure there are no other hives, of course, right? Mm -hmm. So we got Westward, myself, and Hosh, and we are... Um, we're on scene. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get rid of these little bastards. So uh, we have to. This is lesson time. So we're we're having a little lesson here about how to put on a bee suit. Now, when you pull them over your boots, you want to get them all the way over your boots and then zip them up. So when you're putting on your net, though, we have a little lesson to learn here from Westward. Thank you for showing up. Now, oh, 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 oh my God! She got her how fingers. How did I see that? Uh, look at her, she got her fingers stuck. Well, better so, than your foreskin. We're actually well, I'm sorry, we're better than your foreskin. <laughs> oh, that really didn't hurt that much. If my foreskin gets stuck, I have big problems. Yeah, yeah, she has, <laughs> yeah that is really, We all do, actually. Do, we that. all do, actually, yes. We all know. <laughs> it doesn't hurt much. <laughs> Not much. So now, as punishment, we're going to make her stay that way all day. She has to. <laughs> I can film one hand. Yeah, well, you're going to have to. So, anyway. Oh! oh well, you. Okay, you need a band-aid? Solve that problem. <laughs> Things not to do in a bee suit. The new girl can't put her shit together here. <laughs> Who dresses you? Because <laughs> okay. we're uh, just talking about the best approach for removing this box that we have out here in Bumfuck. The problem with cardboard boxes, and I've done them, of course, after 30 years, I've done pretty much everything. I don't know. I can't wait for the new stuff, you know, that I've never done before. Um, but if the box is not too dilapidated, then we can put it into a garbage bag, bag it, tie it up, and remove everything and then separate it all at the ranch. If, and then we're going to walk around and do a little survey and see if uh, we have any hives anywhere else because they want us to do that. We're at the wastewater treatment plant down here in Bisbee, Arizona. Oh, look at guard. Oh, out. this is so bizarre, everyone. This is weird. This is beyond a cardboard box. Can it's like a them? petrified box. You know what's holding it together? Out? You know what's right holding here? it together? Yeah. You see propolis. the little monsters? Propolis. Propolis. Yep. Wow, they've been in here a while. Look huh? at them watching. That's they're, so They're creepy. watching. Look now, it was a lot warmer when these guys got stung yesterday afternoon. So they were weed whacking near well right here obviously they were weed whacking around this box and the bees came out and stung them look so this is a full-on active oh here they come here's the door here they come that's one of the doors the whole damn thing is there see these guard bees up here they're yeah this is a full-on hive everyone wow so you know what since we're here and they know we're here let's get a garbage bag yeah we'll do a survey in a second yep. uh bring a little spray adhesive in case we need it yeah so you i want to pull a truck up the guard bees right here at this opening. Right. Okay. Oh, right by your hand, they're all coming out on your. Up here, oh boy! Right yep, here they are. I am so curious about the construction on this, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and I, I, I can feel the propolis. Bees. Oh my! I just broke that. They're hobo wow. bees. They're hobo, hobo bees. Hobo bees. Oh my God! You are amazing. That's hilarious. Then they're not happy about us, are they? Yeah, yeah, good call. Okay, so we got an outside layer of wow. cardboard. All right, let's get rid of that. We're, we're putting new siding on their house. Oh, I can smell it. Yep. Yep. We're out here in the middle of nowhere. I want to show everyone that they will live in anything. Look at all the propolis. Wow. See this all propolis along here? Wow, that's just a box of Viking right there. That's what it is. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. It doesn't really weigh that much, but look at how old it is. Out of all the places in the desert and around here, they, they, they did had to this. build in this dam. That's oh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I, this is so weird. weird. Now, if it was 100 degrees out of course, it'd be a lot more aggressive, but also, if we didn't have bee suits on, we'd already be dead. 
wow. the, the, the tone of them here. Oh, move out of the sunlight, oh, coach. Sure. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. See? Oh my God! Look at that. Wow. Isn't that something? Thank you. Thank you. So this is an entire hive. Now we can tell it's been here a long time. This is really, really old. And because the newer the comb, and see they had nowhere else to build, so there's not really any new comb here. This is newer down here. You see down here? The lighter stuff? Yep. Still at least months old. But there's a little bit of honey over here. A little wow. bit of honey right here. It's see? so dark. That is some old comb. Oh yeah, they have been they have been here for years. Literally. Literally. I mean, in this box, living for years. Fascinating through monsoons. Through monsoons. Through, through snow. Freezes, through freezes. Through snow. Yep. Just sitting in that and box. And the only thing that... Yeah, this had probably hasn't been weed whacked in years, obviously. And so these prisoners were working yesterday and came and tried to weed whack back here and, of course, got attacked. Got stung up. So that is the entire hive. It's so weird. Now, this is deep. This goes down in here a ways. See that? Oh yeah. So it's not as shallow as it looks. I'm not as shallow as I look. Look at that, see? So this is, there's honey. Yeah. So this is what they're from last year. This is what they've been li living on and surviving on until spring. See, this right here is propolis. Where This is what they attach to the cardboard. Propolis is the glue that holds the hive together, everyone. And so it, it's tree sap actually. So look at this in here. Look at that in there. See the honey yeah. dripping? There you go. See there? Look at that. There's weird, weird, weird. So in, many bees in this box. Look at that. Now there's so many bees in this That's box. Why. There are tens of thousands of bees in this little tiny box. And their home. Beautiful honey. And look at that beautiful comb over in here, that light over there. So yeah, this is honey from last year or the year before. Who the hell knows? But there isn't much left for them. They would have had a hard time till spring, but they've been doing it obviously for years. Oh man, I love this dark comb. Oh, it's so good. All I can think of is replenishing the Viking stores. Look, look at this, uh, this is a queen cell right here. That's for a queen, you see that great big long? Here, I'll get it out so you see a little bit better. Yeah. All right, so there's a couple of them here. Uh, this is a queen cell. Mm -hmm. This is a queen cell, really old. A queen hatched out of here. They have more than one queen cell in the. Well, yes, in fact, when the uh, when the old queen goes on goes with the bees to go uh, move when they're swarming. Look at this is this is really good honey right here actually. When the old queen takes off with the swarm, there's five, six, maybe even more. Usually five or six. Look at this all honey. Yeah, it's honeycomb. Wild honeycomb. Feel the weight on this, West. Oh, this wow. is all brand new for Westward. She has never seen any of the stuff that we're doing. Every every day is a new adventure. Yeah, it's and been it is super for, exciting. It is for Hosh and I, actually, too. But. Well, I was telling Hosh earlier, like, I, I got to ease into it. Oh, you certainly did. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, gentle yeah. swarm after gentle swarm after the pineapple swarm. Third thing moving. <laughs> yeah, but it was good that I learned that I don't have a reaction I, to them as far as, like, I am totally Freaking calm about out. all the bees. It doesn't right. bother me. And you will find after time, because uh, once again, everybody, ho uh, Westward is brand new at this. Brand spanking new. And, oh my God, holding up well. You're going to find, Westward, that it becomes such a meditation. Yeah. It, I mean the drone of my voice. <laughs> Just the constant in your ear. Oh, I'm sorry. I just fell asleep. Can you say that again? Oh, 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 that hurt. Oh, oh, oh. No, I was just so relaxed. I'd rather get stung by bees. Anyway. Uh, no, but for real, I actually feel very calm around them. And if I didn't have a bee suit on, I've, well, I've said this for, to read the other You'd feel calmer because you'd be dead. One bee around me with no bee suit on, I'm running. Well, yeah, anyone in so, their right being mind. being in this bee suit feels so safe. So these are all Africanite bees, killer bees. And even, uh... And it's all honey. Well, it's empty. That one's little empty. Little nectar. That one's empty. What'd I, you call me? Yeah, little nectar. Aw, thank you. Little nectar. That's honey. That's all honey That's his rapper name. Look at that. That's, little nectar. No, no, that was actually my porn star. Okay. Uh, here, look. That's, here, look over here. Look at this. Look at this. That's all honey. Wow. That's all honeycomb. So, yeah, we're going to put a kibosh on these. 
uh, kill them. Look at how beautiful golden that is. Golden. This is the rarest honey in the world. Wild Africanized killer so bee honey. So that's new. The golden. Well, still a few months old. That they, yeah, it's newer, new-ish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They just ran out of room, so they were basically hunkered down. Yeah. This um, is a swarm factory. Ex exiting. Yeah, it's a swarm factory. You are so right. It's a swarm factory. Yep. So, let's see if we can get any propolis or any more. A little bit of comb out here. Isn't a lot. We just didn't room for them. What oh, can you this. do with the propolis? The propolis we eat also. Look at that. The more comb. So we're getting a little bit out of here. Okay, yeah, the propolis is a known, uh, it's been used in Chinese medicine, even the Egyptians knew about it. Um, it is uh, antibacterial, and everything in a beehive is not only edible, but extremely good for you in ways that we're still discovering. Mm, even and, the wax? Yes, even the wax, yes, even the beeswax. Everything in a beehive is edible, including the bees, who cares? Kind of, they're in the, all the folds of this. Which is really interesting because uh, they don't move things. They will build in the folds of even clothing. So they built around this the cardboard box wherever they had to. They did not move a piece of cardboard box. They built around it. Oops, that goes down in there a little bit. And there's, it's all honey. Yeah, yeah. There is there's a all little bit honey. of honey in here. Yeah. All honey and empty comb. And empty comb. Yeah. Well, they're getting ready, so. getting ready so for spring. So in the past three days, this is the third removal we've done with comb, and it's January. Yeah, right, right. Now, the weird thing about the behavior that we have going on in January is swarming. They should not be swarming this time of year. The bees that are out in the field and all these bees flying around that are left over, they are very landmark oriented. They're going to come back to this spot and land here. There will be a mound of them here where this box was because they don't know anywhere else to go. And so they might land on this little bush over here, I don't know, but it'll be right here in this area because they don't know, they have nowhere else to go. Every hive is an enemy of every other hive. The only reason that bees visit each other, see I got this goddamn wind blowing my net on my... Did I just hear a dog bark or was that something else? A, a dog fart? How do you hear a dog bark? A dog fart? bark? You know oh, dog was? bark. Isn't that oh. a funny sound? Oh, it's your glove. I was worried that there was a dog nearby. It was actually me farting. <laughs> it's a glove fart. Glove fart. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say glove fart? No, never love mind. Farts. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Anyway. Is it uh, going to be the name of my next band? I was talking about something band? important. I don't love know what fart. the hell I was talking about. <laughs> uh, well, so now we'll do a quick look around. Uh, we should look around the front of that. So actually, we're just going to do a quick survey. If we find any bees, we'll let everybody know. Uh, I think we should wrap it up. Okay. We did good. Uh, if we find any bees, we'll let everybody know. But other than that, we're just going to walk around for a minute. And, uh, and yeah, well, that was nothing but fun. Here they come. Save the day. So uh, if you guys want some honey, of course, go to killerbeeguy.com and get some. Do it now. Do it in front of me. We love you guys. Thanks for coming along, and we'll bring you on the next adventure. Reed Booth signing off. Say goodbye, Ho. Say goodbye, Westward. <laughs>